So now I'm going to show how to manage the um, rate Z pool uh, and increase the size of it. Um, now there's two, you can't reduce rate Z unfortunately, um, there's no current way of doing it um, other than creating a, another pool with um, a separate devices and transferring the data across from one pool to another. Um, it's unlikely you'd need to do that but there is a chance and that's the only way uh, currently. But I believe they have been working on it for some time. Um, I imagine it is quite difficult to do. Um, increasing the size of a RAID Z, there's two ways of doing it and you can either um, add a new device similar to what we did with the mirror or you can replace existing devices um, again similar to what we did with the mirror so I'll just go through these methods um, both these methods are quite quite um, easy really once you've seen the mirror ones but um, just to be sure there's no doubt in how you do it I'll, I'll go through it and um, demonstrate how it can be done so what I'm going to do first of all is to create a um, well, in fact, I better destroy my Z pool from last time actually. Z pool. Uh, yeah. Let's come out of that. Z pool. Destroy. Test. So that's destroyed it. I'm going to create a, a RAID Z just with two devices so that I've got a couple spare so it's a pull create test raid z1 and sdb and sdc in fact I'll use sde they're going to be part of it in fact let's use that 41 the other 41 sdd Okay, so we've got to override this. And I'll create a data set called test and change the ownership to my user. I'll go back into that and copy some stuff into there. Okay, so let's just check the status of the pool, and you can see I've got a single RAID Z with two devices devices underneath that VDEV. Now again use the add command to add and remove to remove VDEVs. So Z pull add test. I'm just adding another VDEV here um, to increase the Z pool size, in fact, I've got to do this last time. Let's do Z pool list. You can see currently it's um, just under two terabytes in size, so um, that's what you'd expect given that it constitutes one and a half terabytes and a one terabyte drive. Um, Sorry, yeah, this is the uh, uh, space available to ZFS to use, not not the user space. The user space you can get by doing um, disk free, and you can see it's the larger of the uh, sorry, the smaller of the two. It, it couldn't be any bigger than the smallest disk. So yes, to add this, so we're going to augment this pool by adding a new VDEV, and that will increase the size of it. Um, so do Z pull 
add name of the pool the type of configuration we want to add ideally should be similar to what you've already got and we're going to add in SDB and SDC as the new VDEV I think this is still let's copy let's copy another one otherwise the um, now this has taken a long time because I've used SDC which is the um, drive that's got well, it's got over 4,000 remaps remapped sectors so that's why it's so slow it's probably switching backwards and forwards to the spare sector track um, and that's obviously slowing the disk down quite a lot And so that's done. So let's do Z pool status, and you can see we've we've increased the pool by adding a new VDEV, and it's VDEV number one. The DF minus H. You can see we've now more than doubled the space because it's um, two 1.2 terabyte drives, and of course Z pool list shows there's a grand total of four and a half terabyte terabytes available to ZFS to use for user data and for its own own management data.